this uh, video will show you how you uh, can track more uh, complex process based boards where you uh, use uh, separate boards for the sub processes so i'm going uh, to go back to my uh, my main uh, process board uh, where i have list for the uh, uh, process steps sales manufacturing and uh, delivery uh, and let's say i have a i want to create a separate board for manufacturing because the manufacturing step is quite complex uh, but also because someone else will be doing this so what i did is i created a uh, manufacturing board uh, where we uh, have uh, separate uh, steps for uh, cutting uh, assembly and wrapping uh, i also added a list for uh, waiting for the next steps because this is something i would like to to track in my uh, uh, in my ship process uh, and again i have a template for the process steps where i i am tracking the main uh, steps so uh, let's go back to the main board. Uh, let's also create a third order. So I'm going to create a third order uh, from the checklist. Um, again, I would like to uh, plan this. So I go to, um, to my Gantt chart in the Plekker um, to be able to uh, plan my third order. Uh, let's see uh, what I can do. Seals will take uh, three days. You can see I'm over allocated here, so I'm going to move this up here. Then I'm manufacturing for this time period. Uh, oh, I see that I have an overlap here, so I should move it here. Um, and then I delivery. Yeah, there's not an issue that the delivery is a bit over allocated. So this is my uh, uh, the planning for my uh, process steps. If I go to my main process, you can see the dates are uh, set on the cards. Uh, and I can now start to track this card uh, from one step to another. There's one thing that is uh, different from uh, this, from simple board tracking, and that's uh, that I uh, created a uh, board rule to automatically mirror a checklist item to a card. So what I will do is um, the checklist item manufacturing will be mirrored to the uh, manufacturing board in Trello, and that's done by the um, mirror rule settings so I can uh, open the mirror rule settings you can see here when the checklist item uh, with the name manufacturing is on the list manufacturing I want to create a mirror checklist item as a card uh, and I'm also using a, a template for that okay so let's move this card to the manufacturing uh, list I'm going to open the card so you see that the seal step is completed and you see also see that a link is added here and this is the link to the card on the uh, manufacturing board, uh, which is called third order. So I now have a card for this order on my manufacturing board, and I can then track this card uh, to, to completion. So I'm going to again go through each of the steps. And as uh, the card progresses from list to list, uh, the card is being uh, completed. Uh, again, I'm uh, tracking all of these uh, actual times, so I can use it in my analysis. But when I open this card, uh, I can jump back to the manufacturing uh, card by clicking on the card mirror link. So I'm going to this, and I can see that the manufacturing step is indeed completed. So also on my, my order card, I can see that this step, step is completed. I still have my link, so I can go back and forward, but manufacturing is done. Let's move it to delivery. I'm going to move it to delivery. Uh, and then I'm going to move it to done. And of course, you can um, create any uh, any board for ship steps. So I could also have a separate sales board or a separate separate delivery board if I would have a sales team and a delivery team, or if those steps would be very complex. So this is the way how you can also use mirrors to automate the uh, workflows between processes.